Hi, everybody. Uh, this is Steve Sabadowski, uh, publisher of BayouBuzz.com. And, and this is the first edition of Trump Transition News Briefs. Uh, you know, number one is, uh, according to uh, this particular tweet, Rudy Giuliani is favored to be the Secretary of State. And that's something that just came out today. Uh, whether or not he actually beats out Mitt Romney or, or not, uh, but that, that really did catch my eye. Uh, also, Wilbur uh, Ross is expected to be named Commerce Secretary by Donald Trump. Uh, this was from the Wall Street Journal. And one of the uh, uh, tweets I saw was that he's going to have to put uh, his holdings in a blind trust. And uh, so somebody commented on Twitter, I thought it was kind of cute, as to whether the Trump family are going to um, manage his interests, too. Um, anyway, a little poke here, but uh, nevertheless, the news, big news for today, I think, is uh, that Betsy DeVos is a, um, a, a top GOP donor and school choice activist, and she's picked to head the Department of Education, uh, the Trump team says. Now, what's the response? Uh, interestingly, Jeb Bush said, in, in, um, at least according to The Hill, uh, Jeb Bush really liked the, uh, the pick, said it's outstanding choice. Well, the American Federation of Teachers said, nah, uh, Trump makes it loud and clear his education policy will focus on destroying public, public education. Obviously, uh, you know, she's big on charter schools. And uh, we'll have to see how that how that develops. Moving on, let's talk about uh, the uh, economy and economics. I thought this was really cute. Uh, Roger Stone, back in the 80s, in a booming economy, Trump, Reagan, uh, make uh, America great again, the new nationalism uh, from The Economist. I, I thought, again, this was really cute. I think that's Roger Stone's picture on, on the left playing the flute. And uh, I'm not sure. It looks like Jeb uh, Bush picture to the right. I don't know. I could be wrong about that. <laughs> and, of course, Donald Trump in the middle. The point is uh, that if you look at what has happened is that um, people expect the stock market to just tube. And, in fact, according to the Russian uh, channel, the U.S. dollar has hit a 13-year high on the Trump economy boost expectations. The stock market has uh, gone through the roof. It, as you remember, it went down uh, right after he was uh, actually elected. And uh, it took a, a quick flip around. And right now, obviously, because um, people are expecting some good things, they're expecting tax breaks, they're expecting, uh, say, breaks on on uh, certain uh, regulations that the business industry in particular has really been upset about. So they're looking forward uh, to it. They're not sure, from what I can gather, they're not really sure about how they feel um, on some of the, the trade deals. And that's something I think that's going to have to flesh out because, uh, you know, obviously the question is once you start involving in trade, breaking trade deals, then there's always going to be some kind of reaction. But at this point in time, uh, the economy is a plus. Uh, Donald Trump's uh, administration uh, is a plus, although obviously there's been some negatives too we'll talk about. But nevertheless, I mean, this is something that's out there uh, so far. Uh, a recent uh, a poll that came out today, CNN poll, indicated that uh, that that there was a very positive feeling towards Donald Trump uh, at this point in time in terms of the, uh, the American expectations. So, um, however, you know, not everything is positive, and I've spoken about this, and I, you know, I think it's really important to say that um, in uh, Congress, uh, uh, Senator uh, Warren and Cummings House asked the GAO to look into the Trump conflicts of interest. This is real serious, guys, and I know that, you know, the Trump people are saying, no, it's not, ser you know, not an issue at all. Uh, Trump is going to be honest. His kid's going to be honest. You know, he said during the campaign that, that 
uh, this kid's going to uh, he's going to put his uh, his property his ownership uh, the Trump properties 500 businesses into blind trust his kids would run it didn't know if it was blind trust or not it so far everything indicates that you know it's going to be a blind trust uh, sort of uh, with his kids running it but you know the thing is if something's happened I mean like for example what if what if one of the businesses uh, want to engage in government business what about the post office hotel that they that they own um, you know that is being rented out uh, from the, the government and now there's been reports of course that uh, that the Trump family has actually you know talked to uh, some of the ambassadors to stay in the tr uh, Trump post office bill in Washington DC so how does that play out you know I, I don't know it's just something I really think really needs to take be taken a look at uh, you know for example uh, look, looking at this, did any of these struggling people who thought Trump was looking out for them get rich on this? Um, and this is an article in The Hill uh, today uh, that a long-stalled Trump building project gets a permit days after his call with the Argentina's president, um, the, uh, according to Trump and also the Argentina president, uh, there is no quid pro quo, nothing discussed at all about uh, this project, uh, a long, uh, long-awaited $100 million project uh, is, was reported. Uh, the daughter, uh, Ivanka, uh, Ivanka Trump, was actually in, in on the call. Uh, why is she in, in on the call, assuming that's correct? Why was she in the call in the uh, Japanese? Uh, you know, how can you, you know, the, the problem is that you just don't know if there's any sweetness to deals. Even though something is not said, hey, you know, if you do this for us, we will do that. Even if the, the Donald doesn't say that, even if the Trump family doesn't say that, just the fact that, you know, this is being blessed by, it just doesn't look good. And those people who were complaining about Hillary Clinton, they had a right to be complaining about it because the perception, this is, this is worse. This is worse. Why? Because Donald Trump told the, the uh, New York Times uh, uh, yesterday uh, during the uh, Q&A that, you know, he, the president can have no conflict of interest. Excuse me, but is he saying he's already above the law? Is he saying that, you know, legally you can't have a conflict of interest? Well, you can. Certainly you can uh, uh, conflict with the um, uh, emolument uh, 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 clause of the U.S. Constitution, you know, that a government institution, agency, um, a foreign government agency cannot uh, give anything of benefit to uh, the, uh, uh, the president. And so... You know that's something is is something that certainly is an issue. Um, Tony Schwartz, you know, who uh, co-authored uh, Trump's book, said Trump's children running his business in meeting with global leaders is mind-bending. How oligarchs are formed must keep calling this out, and I I have to agree. I mean, no question. Uh, look, I've been a no Trumper, but you know, look, economy goes well. Uh, I don't like some of his picks, uh, but if Kami goes well, then I certainly think we need to stand behind him. But, I mean, look, this is just drip, drip, drip that's going to happen because of the fact that you have to have controls in terms of ethics, particularly if you're concerned with the Secretary of State. You've got to be concerned with the President of the United States. And, um, you know, that's just a no-brainer especially given the fact that already the Trump Foundation, uh, as we know, which, you know, uh, certainly has, was not giving a pass in any respect, was found to be doing self-dealing um, for uh, 2015 and I believe uh, years back, uh, going back, and that's very troubling. Because the foundation 
is was supposed to not have any kind of, say, um, uh, conflicts. And yet the thing is that apparently, we're not sure exactly what it was, but the tax papers from the uh, Trump Foundation uh, uh, changed on Monday that disclosed that there was some self-dealing. So if you're going to have that kind of issue, you know, dealing with your own foundation, okay, that you didn't disclose until you got caught by the Washington Post, how in the world can we trust that, you know, this self-dealing is not going to go on? Especially if your income taxes are not going to be disclosed because they haven't been disclosed. We don't know what kind of dealings that the Trump family has with, you know, associated with his 500 businesses. It's just, it's not right. The election is over. And if we're going to, you know, say, hey, look, let's give Donald Trump a, a, a chance. Let's look at, at his picks and let's give him a chance. I mean, come on, Donald Trump and his family have got to lay out concerns. It just isn't right. Here's one of the things, for an example, that just came out today. And again, I think this is troubling. Uh, Donald Trump Jr. held talks on Syria with Russian supporters. This was something that happened recently uh, in the Wall Street Journal. Uh, Trump was uh, uh, in private discussions along with diplomats, businessmen, politicians last month to, found, to discuss ways to uh, co cooperate with Russia. You know, I'm sorry, you know, if you're going to be an agent for the campaign, you're going to be an agent for the transition. In any way, you're going to be an agent, say, for uh, the business. You know, can you also be an agent for the, you know, the, gov the, the government? You know, I, 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 I personally think not. I thought this was really very good, the Trump transition. Okay, so, you know, this is from AP. We've got the cabinet of the White House. Uh, the CIA director, uh, National Security Advisor. Uh, we have the, the White House Chief of Staff, Nikki Haley, who I think was a good pick, okay, although she doesn't have any, any experience uh, in terms of uh, uh, national security, uh, U.S. ambassador. Yeah, I mean, she's Indian, uh, but what experience does she have? But I will say I think it's a good pick because he reached out uh, to somebody who was definitely not in his corner. And I think that's absolutely, you know, that's really terrific. Again, Betsy DeVoe, um, we don't have Secretary of State, don't have Secretary of Treasury yet, although there are, you know, some, uh, some as mentioned, some of the possible picks. Um, and Secretary uh, Defense, Commerce, uh, and so on. So we have a lot going on on this side here in green. Um, so the Donald Trump transition, I think, is, uh, you know, beginning to uh, take shape. I'm personally very, very concerned about Steve Bannon. I mentioned that before uh, because of his relationship to alt-right. Um, again, that's something that, you know, he needs to prove, at least to me, that he is not an agent of the alt-right. And Donald Trump has got to prove that he is not going to be way out there on the far right. So, um, you know, that's, that was his base of his support. So is he going to flip around and go in a different direction? Well, he's already made some different choices at this point in time. You look at the, the, the uh, meeting that, the, that he had with the New York Times. I mean, my gosh, you know, he's not sure how he feels right now about global warming. Well, that's a big switch. Um, you know, he's, he's going to go in there with an open mind, but, you know, before he, he said, you know, that, that he thought it was a, a fraud, you know, and I mean, that was just one of, of the issues. He also um, has, has uh, bounced around on, on other issues, uh, certainly in terms of Mitt Romney, which I think is a positive. Hopefully he picks him for Secretary of State. He was, I think, very, uh, he, he was, uh, had a green leaf out, I think, to the New York Times, who he has called, uh, you know, the corrupt uh, New York Times. Um, 
you know, there's qu quite a number of things that he has done that have just been real changes just in the last two weeks, and we'll talk about that uh, in the future. But all in all, I think he's done very well in putting the transition together a lot faster than Obama did in the same time period. So those are the good and the bad at this point in time. Again, uh, Steve Sabletowski, publisher of BayouBuzz.com. Again, this is the November 23rd, 2016. Uh, happy Thanksgiving to you all.